BBC News with Moira Alderson. Experts in the United States say they may have pinpointed the cause of Havana Syndrome, a mysterious illness that first emerged among diplomatic staff in Cuba in 2016. They say pulsed electromagnetic energy from an external device would provide a plausible explanation. Russia has condemned the United States' decision to deploy 3,000 troops to support NATO allies in Europe. It'll be the first major movement of U.S. forces since Russian troops began massing on the Ukrainian border in November. The Russian foreign ministry said the move would increase tensions. The French president, Emmanuel Macron, says he will speak to President Biden by phone and may travel to Moscow in search of a diplomatic solution to the crisis. Germany's Chancellor Olaf Scholz says he's already agreed to meet Mr Putin. Officials in Argentina say at least 12 people have died and another 50 are in hospital after taking adulterated cocaine. It's not yet clear what the drug was contaminated with. Afghan activists say another women's rights campaigner has been abducted from her house in Kabul by suspected Taliban members. Morsel Aya was taken, has taken part in several recent protests demanding women's right to work and education. Prosecutors in Serbia say coronavirus tests submitted by Novak Djokovic at the Australian Open tennis tournament were legitimate. They said an investigation had concluded there was no manipulation of evidence. A BBC report suggested the serial numbers on the tests were out of sequence. The government of Guinea-Bissau says 11 people died in Tuesday's failed attempt to overthrow the president. Both soldiers and civilians are reported to be among the dead. Football and Senegal are through to the final of the Africa Cup of Nations after beating Burkina Faso 3-1. Senegal will now take on either Egypt or Cameroon. BBC News.